feel like it's early in the morning, but we're going to the sun. Going to the sun road. It's seven o'clock in the morning. I guess that's not too early. It's Lake McDonald on our left. Feel like a 14 mile hike today? I don't know if I'm feeling 14, but okay. we'll see. We'll get on the Highline Trail and we will do as much as we feel like doing. That's what, that would be the happy path. Go as far as it still feels fun. <laughs> lungs are still happy. Parking lot is full at Logan Pass. I guess you need a plan B. We're gonna continue down the east side and down towards St. Mary. So we'll see a lot more beautiful scenery on the east side of the divide. Oh, what about this option down here? Is this parking? Oh, this must be. Is this plan B parking? Plan B overflow? You got a spot in here, babe. Uh, we're gonna 
drive down to St. Mary. So we got a parking spot right by the trailhead of Sai Creek and Pigeon Pass here. We've been driving around trying to find a spot today and we're at the, we're finally at, we finally were able to find a spot right there. It's a change of plans. We're not doing High Line like we thought we were going to do today. Just can't get a into the parking lot at Logan Pass. So we are at Sai or Sai, and go up this pass here, Pigeon or Pagan Pass, something. Uh, it's supposed to be a super nice hike as well. So this should be just as good as High Line. So I think we're just just as happy to do this one. Here we go. It's the one we got. Let's do it. We can only go to the pass. We can only go to the pass. Uh -huh. Dang it! <laughs> so we are heading up the Sai Pass Trail. It's a, like I said at the trailhead, it's a change up. It's a different trail than what we had planned today. We were planning to be on High Line, which would be very different. I was just thinking about how different the landscape is. We are in some some nice dense wooded area. The High Line Trail, we would be in a just rock on the ledge, moving across the, the face of a of a big mountain cliff or something chipmunk so this this is a good option it's going to give us over 2200 feet of elevation and just heading up still in the first mile i can my lungs and my breathing are going to are starting to starting to tell me that I'm gaining elevation. So we're going to get a good workout, which is part of what we were looking for. The Highline Trail would have given us some amazing views the entire way along the trail. This hike we're we're getting a very mountainous wilderness views or underneath a, a big canopy of evergreen pine and fir and but this hike will provide us some epic views I believe once we get up to the pass so I don't think we're going to get shorted on being able to get a, an epic view today. We're just going to enjoy the partially shaded trail under this nice canopy and keep moving up towards the pass. The second time we've crossed that dry falls we crossed it and then turned around on the switchback and crossed it again. I'd love to be here a little bit earlier in the year and see that running. It 
might be gorgeous. Probably very loud. Okay, I talked Rod into I talked Rod into putting on his bear spray. Man, we got uneven ground here. So he's sporting his third, bear spray. Third wardrobe change of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Started out his one mile. He stripped down to short sleeves. Got my bear spray handy. We got bushes. I haven't seen any huckleberries yet, but it looks like the ty type of terrain that grows huckleberries really good. So I can see bear being in here and perhaps being on the menu for bear. Bear with a side of hiker, or <laughs> huckleberry with a side of hiker. <laughs> Not a good thing. This is pretty cool. This is a, a dry falls. It's probably just recently dry. Yeah. Looks like it's still wet and slippery. I'd but read that it was difficult to pass here. This is good. Beautiful when it's running. And they do have a log to walk across if it is running. that we saw at the very beginning of the hike. Where the bears hang out? Huh. A little flat spot way up here that catches a little water. Okay, we're coming up to the fork in the road right now, and man, the bugs are just thick. Got biting flies, so we're gonna stop spray up some more bug spray right now but this is the point where Pekin Pass Trail continues on to the left and the trail to the right goes up to the Sae Pass and uh, we've decided that we're gonna stay to the right here we'd like to get up and see the Sae Pass uh, that trail I know will continue on and go over the pass and Finish the loop going back down to the, going to Sun Road down by the St. Mary Lake, um, where we could jump on a shuttle and get back to our truck. But I think what we're going to do today is just get up to the pass, see the views, and then uh, turn around and come back the same way we came and avoid the really steep descent down on the, on the far side of the pass going down to St. Mary Lake. So I think that's going to be our plan today. But, We'll see how it goes.
I can't even see you. I think I, I just, we're in the squiggly part. So I get what, thousand more feet? Oh, okay. Oh, that worked to get you up here. Oh my gosh, honey, it's so pretty. This is it. We're gonna call this the pass. We are in between two peaks. And there's where you drop off the other side, right there. Well, this is where we stop for now. We gotta eat some food. It's hankering for us some peanut butter. <laughs> peanut butter sandwich. We got a beautiful view. There's a chance we might go another 100 feet. Okay, this is the as far as we're going to go. Made it to the pass. We saw some people that kept going. A little bit of downward travel here. Okay. Our happy path is almost done for the day. <laughs> it was a little happier than usual or the happiness went on for a little longer than usual. It was a long hike. We went up, up the Sai Trail to, what was it? I think it's Pegan. Okay. Someone called it the Pegan Pass and he looked like a local, so I'm gonna go with that. Yeah. So we got up there, got all the way up the pass. Uh, Find a good place to sit down and have some lunch. Beautiful flat rock up there that I call, I named the lunch counter. We stopped and had lunch and you could look, you're right in the saddle of the, the sun's at your back and you look to the right and you're looking to the east and right through the pass. Um, no more mountains, you're looking down onto the Great Plains. It was a really, really interesting view. So I would give this Psy Trail a thumbs up. So Five stars. Five stars. Yeah. It, it worked for the happy path today. It was a good one.
you could actually go to the lunch counter, which we called the lunch counter, but it was say 2,000 feet of elevation up where you could see over the pass. We stopped at a really good spot where you're looking yeah. right through the pass. There was a couple hundred more feet of elevation and we could have, at the trail, it could have taken us up before we dropped over onto the other side. Um, we asked people Andrea that Andrea wanted to do it and I said, <laughs> forget it. <laughs> we asked people that did it and they thought it was... Yeah, the view didn't improve, so... It was good. It was prettier what we were looking at, so... so. So I think we made anyway, the right decision. I think we did it perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a good it was a good one today. So we still have a few more days here in Glacier. So we hope to bring you another hike or two. Um, tomorrow, so we've been staying in West Glacier at the KOA. Tomorrow we move move the trailer into the park. We'll be staying at Fish Creek for three more nights. So um, more hiking to come. Hope to get a little visit up to Whitefish while we're here. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to make the most of it. So all we need to do is get down the road to the sun. Get past Logan's Pass, down the road to the sun. Is that, would that be the going from the sun road then? Going, going <laughs> from the sun. Yes, we'll be doing the going from the sun. Driving out. Driving out, and then we'll... We're just a few minutes from uh, West Glacier, the entrance. Yeah, the, that KOA is a nice spot. It's really, yeah. really close to the West entrance. So it's really quick to get in here. The next three days we'll be at Fish Creeks, so we'll be in the park. So we'll take advantage of checking out more of the, the Western side of the park since we're, Fish Creek is over there, staying there. So we'll go up to Bowman and Pole Bridge. Or... Pole Bridge, yeah. There's some other places over there to check out. It'll be perfect since we're staying over there. So we can't wait to see it. But there's an there's a great hike that we're looking forward to, but there's also a Huckleberry Bear Claw oh, that we're aiming for. Apparently a famous Huckleberry Bear Claw in Bowman or in Polebridge. In Polebridge. Okay. That's some mercantile. So we'll look for that and then there's also some Going to the Sun IPA, that might be... At a brewery in Whitefish. Might be pretty epic. We might have to sample that. Yeah. But anyway, our hike for today is done. So we're going to we'll be back to the truck in just a minute, and we will get a shower. <laughs> but we're, we're done for the day. But we'll see you next time here on the Happy Path.